Hi, my name is Eugene Horton, a paralegal investigator for the past 30 years. I inquire into, expose, and challenge wrongful convictions. Clint Massey is a, place, a person who I'm definitely defending right now because I know I got evidence that he's wrongfully convicted. And I don't think he should be there, especially in prisons where they can't provide proper medical care, proper security, they can't provide nothing for him in there but early death, and he don't have a death sentence because of the virus. And uh, he's actually innocent. We want him out of there, so let's, we're gonna file these documents tomorrow in the Cook County Circuit Court with Dorothy Brown. These documents explaining and showing evidence of his actual innocence. Proof is provided here, proof of the facts. So, just a sum of what I wanted to say. And for everyone else in prison, the same thing applies. These guys are locked in prisons with that virus running rampant through the prison. They're not getting adequate medical care. It's a death sentence. We want to stop this. And I'm, I intend to challenge that, that practice in prison from the public, from that administration. Department of Veterans Affairs, Department of Veterans, I'm a veteran also. A veteran from the U.S. Army. I'm going to use all the resources I got to challenge the Department of Corrections on this, what they're doing to these people. Our black people mostly, but poor, also white, Mexican, whatever he is, they are killing you guys. We want to help. What's going on, man? Well, <laughs> Pookie. What you got going on? Nothing. I love you. I love you too. Look, we're going to have to get right to the business about what we need to do because um, they only, okay. it's only 15 minutes. Okay. So, um, my attention for saying free Clint Massey instead of free Ronald No. 9 is to basically, you know, help everybody, help, help everybody realize that Clint Massey is the woman of trial. You know, Ronald No. 9 is just my rap name. You feel me? I want things to be fair. And I feel like one of them are the things out of the ordinary, you know. And this is just a sign of maturity, you know, just to let everybody see that. You know, I'm a, I'm a human also, you feel me? Yeah, you know, I'm a grown man, you know, I'm a human like everybody else, you feel me? So that's really the, basically, you know, basically the things that I want to uh, put as far as, you know, my attention and why I did this, you feel me? And, you mm -hmm. know, uh,
to me. Uh, feel that about that? Yeah, I understand. Okay. <laughs>
going the right direction. That's good, son. What you think, right? That's 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 what's up. That's what it's about at the end of the day, you know. You you did the uh most important thing. You gave God his glory, because at the end of the day, that's who this this who this we gotta get this to. We giving God this glory. Cause this gonna be outstanding. This gonna be big. And you know, I always told yeah. you it's light at the end of this tunnel. We gonna yeah. celebrate in a good way. So I want you to yeah, uh, I really miss you, man. Yeah, I miss you too, baby. I, yeah, I miss you too, but we we gonna we ain't got long to go. Uh one thing I do know Nah, one thing I do know is for a long time it been seeming like uh I've been having flutters like God telling me it's near, so I'm just letting you know that it's near, son. Uh oh. It's near. Yeah, I'm mm-hmm. it. Yeah. I'm happy. Yeah. Like I told you, you're going to ask a new tip to bunch. <laughs> <laughs> I, please don't give me a whole bunch of uh, grandkids. Don't try to just give me like one or two. <laughs> give me like one or two. Don't give me, don't give me no 10 and 15. I don't want that many. <laughs> nah, I ain't going to give you that many. You know I ain't doing that. <laughs> I'm very, uh, you know, thoughtful now. You know, I ain't gonna do too much. I ain't gonna do nothing to uh, jeopardize, you know, me or my family. Yeah, you know, you know, I already got eleven grandkids. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I got too many. Yeah, I got too many uh, nieces and nephews. Yes, I got eleven grandkids. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, but I, uh, but it's all love. I, I love them with the love of God. I love my grandkids. I love my kids. I love my family. Yeah. You know, this has this has supposed to be, this has gonna be. You know. Yeah, I just can't wait, Ma. Yeah, I know. I know. You look so handsome. Thank you. I, yeah, I see you too. I see you too, girl. <laughs> <laughs> You look real handsome. Got your little haircut going on. Who cut yeah. your hair? I just love this fight, man. So I'm going to see the little Yeah. <laughs> you did that yourself? Yeah, me, I cut it. Oh, you did it's good. Cool. You did good, son. Yeah, I cut it. Yeah. I guess I got one of my big tricks, son. Yeah? Yeah, my is a good vision, like, you know, yeah. I'm doing it every day. I'm so glad to see you too, baby. I love you. You keep your head up. And I want you to continue to pray and keep God first in whatever you do, okay? Yeah, I'm praying up always as well. I know. Even when you're walking. It's something that, you know, uh, yeah, it's something that's a part of me now. It's it, it, it been a part of you, you know? It, it, this just brought it out. This was what I taught you. So yeah, yeah, it's been a part of me because I, I got baptized when I was young. That's right. <laughs> I guess it just led me back into the journey. Yeah. The way I needed to do it. That's right. That's right. I think that's all it did. But. And I want to tell you something that's the most important thing ever. No matter what you do in life. As long as you keep God first, you will always win. Yeah. Real talk. Yeah, I'm definitely doing that, man. Mm-hmm. I'm not that out of you. That's you right. Me. That's right. You got yeah. me too. We got each other. Yeah. Cause I may, you may know some things that I don't know. You know. Yeah, man. I love you, and I tell my sisters about I said I love them too. And I will. I will. I love you more. I love him. I will. It was nice. I will. I'm going to get him a kiss. I'm going to get him a kiss for you. I'm going to get him a kiss for you. I'm going to talk to you soon. All right. I love you as well. Talk to you later. My name is Earl Stokes. I'm the Pastor of Clint Massey Brothers Church. Y'all know what time it is. 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 Y'all know what
Uh, I, want, I just want to say uh, we need my brother out here with us. You know, we was just kids when we was running the streets, but, you know, everybody learn from their mistakes and everybody make mistakes. We learn from them. You know, I just think it's, you know, it's, it ain't right for him to get 39 years for something he ain't do. And, you know, everybody, you know, everybody always has something to say. From the outside looking in, we really don't know what's going on. But um, I just want to say, we just want you, we miss you. We need you out here. We, we, we praying for you. We want you to come home. These are sisters. Um, this is the baby girl, Essence. And this is the big sister, Shahina. Um, I talked earlier. Yeah, she named after me. Um, it's always been a problem, but this is Shane and Junior. And um, I talked earlier. And um, like I said, I've always um, worked hard to give my children the best things in life. And um, I was a single mom. And they'll tell you, I always have one or two jobs, no more than two jobs to make sure that they um, could get what they need and had, to, had, had not to go in the street to get it. Um, we're very close in their fa family. They do know who God is. I raised them to know who God is. They've been, they were raised as children to pray when times got hard, to pray every day, no matter what. And they do know that at the end of the day, God has the last say. And they also know that um, any, you can have anything in life, anything, as long as you put God first. I've always taught them that. And um, my son Clint is a very strong individual. And um, I don't want to leave without letting the world know that um, everything that was instilled in me came from my father. My father was a great role model that helped me raise them because, I, I, like I said in the beginning, I was a single parent. My dad helped me to make them the men that they are. They, they know to stand ten toes down in any situation as well as their mom. And I just want to tell the world that, man, I just want my baby home. I love you and I miss you and I want you to come home, Uncle Clint. This is the cause for Clint Massey, and as the mother said, for numerous other people who was wrongfully convicted, similar is situated to Clint Massey. And, um, my allegation as attorney is that during the proceedings which resulted in their convictions, there were substantial denials of their rights under both the United States and the North Constitutions. The following people were wrongfully convicted similar to him. After I did my research, I found out that Michael Johnson, known as Paradise, Clint Massey, Robert uh, Ghetto uh, Geis, Larry, uh, Mike, Mike G. Brown, Larry Hoover, D.D. Howard, Jeff Ford, Kelvin Snowden, Alan Moore, uh, Armand Williams, Stan Kirkman, Michael P. Johnson, D. Wilson, Kenneth Barker, Abdul Riley, Rudy Bell, James Walker, which is High Summer Dean, and Leon Bolton. We want you guys to stand up and fight for Clint Massey because you're fighting for yourself. You guys got to join together. It's a similar thing that these police have used to wrongfully convict you guys. We need you out here. Clint Massey is part of our leadership out here. We need role models out here. He's a good man. He's very intelligent. So uh, th these other guys I mentioned are too. So please, we're gonna file this. We need some help with it. Support us. Thank you.